At Ultimaker, we're excited to open source important digital tools of production. What we want to do is improve and make affordable the process of making not just circuit boards but also assembling them in medium quantities. So we actually want to go from these circuit boards here to an assembled version like the one here. And of course what you'll need is these tiny components. And these tiny components like this resistor here tend to come on these kinds of reels. It's a reel with loads of loads of components on it. For automatic assembly of electronics, uh, electronic boards, uh, what you really want is to offer the components at a very consistent location. And one of the ways to do this is to have a tape feeder. So this is a tape feeder designed in OpenSCAD. So what I did is design it in a way that it has these tabs, so it consistently puts the tape the grey part here, uh, it, it pushes it downward and it pushes it to the left uh, with this little tab. So if, if I turn this model you can see from the bottom that it has these tabs and this is a sort of a spring and it keeps everything in the right place. So and what I also did is uh, create a lever with a spring uh, that can be uh, forwarded so that uh, you forward the uh, tape um, so that it has a new component uh, on that on it. So um, this is a, a latching me mechanism or a, a, a ratchet mechanism. And here's the pole, and it will uh, push it forward only in forward direction only, and then it will uh, snap over to the next position. So this uh, this should work, and I thought, well, let's try this, let's print it. The tape for SMD components uh, has these little holes in them, and you can use that to accurately control the feed of this uh, tape. So, so what I tried first is to create a fully printable uh, version, but um, it appeared that the ABS that I printed this in is a little bit too soft uh, so the notches uh, would come off. So, But what does work very well is laser cut Delrin. Delrin is a very tough material, actually Delrin is a brand name. Uh, it's also called POM in short. And this is a very tough material and it works beautifully uh, for this kind of application. So what you'll see is that I use this gear, sort of like a gear, to forward the tape. So this is the lever that I designed and this part goes here and it has this little pole here and it will uh, ratchet uh, in one direction. And there's the spring here as well and when you push it forward it will return to that, to that position. So this is the pickup site. Uh, there's some uh, tape, some foil on the components um, that make sure that it, they stay in place but um, it has to be removed uh, just at the pickup site. So um, this happens here and you can just hang, I hang the little weight uh, to keep some tension on it and then it uh, will remove automatically. You should be able to have multiple feeders and you can just bolt them onto a plate like this and you can uh, you can use a threaded rod uh, to connect them together and to even out the spacing uh, to get a very accurate setup. And then for the actual pick and place process uh, you need something like a vacuum pipette that you control, can control with a, uh, something like a solenoid valve. Um, so it can be controlled digitally and I've actually achieved uh, a pick and place, I did a pick and place operation but uh, it needs to be a little bit more reliable so I'm still working on that. 